Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your beginning of November read for this current year. I love reading for you guys because you're my very last sign. Yay! All right, so, Pisces, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. Yeah, if this resonates with you, good deal. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Just because it's your sign doesn't mean you fit the type and personality anyway. And plus, you also got to take you know, like all your other positions into consideration. But, you know, if you don't know any of that shit, that's beside the point. Anyway, Pisces, let's see what you get. Gilded Regret. Have I read for that one before? I don't know. Once again, there's a bitch crying, though. Why are you always crying? Like, you're almost as bad as cancer. Well, not really. Like, I shouldn't say that. Like, that's for Okay, Moon Phase, Waxing Crescent, Stage, Bargain. I feel like living in the past. Please give me five more minutes to linger. Visual Seed, an elven queen with heavy eyes. Her dress is blue as the clearest water. Her crown of thorns and golden clawed flowers holds a blue orb in her hand. Sentence, memories are like floating underwater, safe, warm, and murky, yet they held... They held the scent of death. Don't you mean they hold the scent of death? Oh my god, like with the grammar. Anyway. The cage of our memories is the most gilded. Lingering to the past, savoring crumbs and flashes, hints and ifs. But it is our sword, however... What? But is our sword, however, is our shield. Okay. We follow the river against the currents to a sea of maybes. We cannot say life is here now, we just say life was here. So that even when the future builds day by day, we still look backwards to the memory and possibilities. Options we missed, things we lost, changes we fled. Or changes we fled from, okay. It's like saying in the twilight of conscience, in the blessed state of those five minutes between the time the alarm rings and when you actually have to wake up, like little kids between the time mom calls and the time we need to wake up and run. But those five minutes are taking up too much time. The grammar in this book is actually really starting to piss me off just a little bit. They are the drain of our energies or the opportunities of our future. The ifs are now gone. Whatever has been has been already. Isn't it? You mean hasn't it? Okay, whatever. I'm getting irritated. Anyway, that's yours, Pisces. Maybe you're living in the past for some reason. Maybe there's something about your memories that you don't want to let go of. Or maybe there's something you're just lingering in that you want to keep close to you. Wasn't, as, as long as it wasn't that one idiot who wouldn't cry for you, I don't give a shit. Like, that person was annoying. <laughs> Let's see... You got the hanged man reverse. That's actually your card, Pisces. That might be you. You feel like you're kind of hanging out, not doing anything. Just be like, oh, fuck it. But that's causing this burden to stick around a lot longer than what you want it to, right? Your wants and wishes is the strength reverse. You might be restricting yourself more than like, you know, showing your strength. You know, like, yeah, you look like you got the upper hand, but that thing's got its tail wrapped around your feet. How long do you think before it catches you in a full-on Nelson? Or at least clamps its jaws around your teeth when you're expecting it. The obstacle and challenge, though, is a missed opportunity that was never meant to be missed. Fears and rejections. Being tortured. Betrayed. Ten of swords. There's a fear of that? Like, it's going to happen or it already did? Because that might be why you just want to live in good times. how this shit starts, how it'll end. Either a resurrection or you get the right idea about something with judgment card. Mind you, there's like four tens. Ten, 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 ten. Well, there's two tens here, but still. You know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just looking over yours real quick, Pisces. I feel like you're kind of stalling on something because you're afraid of it. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's something about a memory. Or something you regret happening or doing, or maybe that's the other person. I don't know. Let's see. 
So with the hangman card, that's your energy. It feels like you're stalling yourself out that you're not letting yourself. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Like, you're not letting yourself progress forward. And I think that's because you, you're you really scared of how it's going to be disastrous, right? And you're afraid that someone's going to tempt you out of your guard and it'll not work in your favor. But at the same time, it's like, just tempting you out of your guard. Like, maybe, like trying to get you out in the cave. Mm. situation with the Ten of Wands reverse. Holding on to a burden I feel like isn't even necessary. Just drop that shit and run, you know? Like, there is a separation well before it should have been. It's in, like, the early stages and it was, like, la-la-la. And it made, like, a... It, 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 it made this bitch right here. What did I call her? Esther. This is Esther. Right? Esther's pissed because, um... Uh, I don't know, she just turned her back because things just went downhill, I guess. Huh. This kind of reminds me of Capricorn's reading a little bit, but different. Like, Capricorn's dealing with someone who I think they have to be emotional with. And, but you are kind of the opposite. It's like, you're emotional about this person, but it's like something to do with regrets, right? Your wants and wishes, you're kind of holding yourself back. Because you feel like you might fuck some stuff up. You feel like you might have set yourself up with the Ten of Swords again. That's five tens. The fuck? There's a lot of completions here. Pisces, you're ending a lot of cycles. That's interesting. Double time over here. Um, you might feel like, yeah, maybe I was the dick and I did all this shit myself. And that's why I don't want to try this stuff again. Uh, however, you end up meeting up with the person from back in the day. Six of cups and then you guys take off wow or are you afraid this person will leave you behind after all this shit or they won't want to deal with you I don't know but it's like I feel like despite everything you do want to um, cherish those moments like you did before however the obstacle and challenge between y'all someone was doing some sneaky sneak shit that they regret doing now, even though at the time they didn't, they didn't really think about it, they didn't really acknowledge it, it was more like, you know, I'm gonna do this shit just because I'm pissed the fuck off, and it's just like, whoa, boob, slow down. Do you have to go the route of, like, having to be pissed off in order to feel justified in doing this? Or can you work with the person in order to avoid the sneakery and the fuckery that comes with it, you know? It's like that kind of situation right there, right? I don't know who it is, Pisces, but it's like this person, um... They... They regret what they've done. To a point, like... I, it's either you or it's them, but it's like they're so terrified, this person is, to like open up that I don't think they want to lose you again. It's like, they love you, dude. That's why I think you. it's like kind of like the Capricorn one. Which is crazy, because like... When the fuck is like... Saturn and Pluto supposed to be whatever it is. I don't know, but it definitely has something to do with Pluto with uh, Pisces and Capricorns for sure. But it's almost like I don't know. I don't know why I'm bringing Capricorns up. Like it could be. I don't know. Well, Capricorn was like had at least a happy situation because I guess we finally got rid of the stalker, so that's good. But it's like someone's definitely sad about how they treated another person, and it felt like they lost a part of themselves. Like they were a zombie. Like, you know, maybe they idolized somebody to a fault and didn't realize what the fuck they were doing because they were so, you know, starstruck or whatever. And now they're realizing, oh my God, what have I done? I've just been in the swamp in my nighty, following some glowing cups around. Like it's, I don't know, like it's Wheel of Fucking Fortune. There is no Vanna White, but I am wearing white and it's all stained with like swamp water and shit. Swamp thing. But, 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 I don't, I, I, oh my god, I grew up with that song and I don't remember the lyrics. That's terrible. Shows how not old I am. <laughs> or how much my memory sucks. One of the two. Alright, the situation, or the fears of rejections, I mean, with the Ten of Swords, right? I feel like you want to know. I want to know. 
know what love is. You know, it brings some shit to light that's in the real world. What? I feel like you're looking for more information before you make a choice. But there's a fear of doing that because there's been so much trap and stagnation. It was like, maybe this person was afraid to come up, but they needed to make the choice anyway. Because maybe they're the ones who are a little bit gilded. I mean, it could be honestly both of you at the same time. With how this shit started and how this shit ends, someone's going to take passionate action. The Knight of Wands. Since somebody isn't making an offering like they should. It's like someone just rides up because like this offer wasn't taking off. Hmm. Someone makes a judgment call to make a move instead of like contemplate whether the move is valuable or not. Which is like, ooh. Strange. So let's see with energy. Yeah, you two are gonna come together for sure. Meet eye to eye, and I think that was what you were worried about. You guys actually sit there and discuss what the fuck happened like adults. Just like, okay, look, yeah, I know I hit you with the stick, but you did too. Well, you shouldn't hit me with the stick first. I was defending myself, like none of that, right? It's not the point of defending yourself. It's more along the point of, like you're the most compassionate and creative sign, Pisces. And I think when this person talks to you, you recognize how their compassion works. Because it's like, you know, it's completely different from your way of compassion. But definitely, um, you guys come together to work some stuff out here. Down in the situation below where Esther just turned her back to shit, all of a sudden she's hearing some stuff, catching her ear, you know. Maybe there was someone who was acting a little bit greedy and bitchy, you know. They acted like they were proud of their fucking actions in order to win a battle. But then they all got sad about how this stuff separated. But they're too scared to let the bird go. They just shoved the bird in their mouth and be like, we don't need the, the like, blah, blah, blah. you know, just ate it raw and shit, right? That's terrible. That's actually sounded really good. Okay. So. Let's see. Wants and wishes. You definitely want, hmm, Knight of Pentacles again. Someone needs to make an offer. You want that offer, I think. But I think you're also afraid this person might crush you or you will crush them, one of the two. Ugh. Something. Pick. Your obstacles and challenges. Well, no, you know what, hold up. I wanna see why this person, still, like this, this person make you feel like you're harmless. Because that's sad, because you're never harmless. Hmm. But I think they only acted that way because they were just as upset about the separation as you were. No. If you're going to hurt me, well, I'm going to hurt you the same way you hurt me. And then I'm going to do more just to make sure you get the fucking message. That's all I got from that. Like, you know. Which is a very childish way for somebody to act, but it's rather effective. Uh, but only after long periods of time, right? Obstacle and challenge, though. Uh, someone might be trying to save somebody else, and the person's like, I, you're not saving me. You set me up, dude. But they want to move forward from it. Or maybe they catch this at a text. And it's just like, oh, dude. Could be a cancer. I feel like this person's confused because this could literally be a text. Like he lo he's looking at it like it's a goddamn phone, you know, pointing for the directions. Like, you know, this person could be trying to find a way forward, looking for directions. And like the first text message they get is like, you know, um, why did you try to set me up? And it's just like, what the fuck are you? Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just not dealing with this shit. But at the same time, it's kind of like you want to. I got another one just to uh, put this burden down and give yourself a break because I feel like it's been too much, right? It'll help release the burden. I'm just saying, you guys got to be careful and learn how to communicate with each other, you know? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, communication's important, but so is, um... What the fuck is it called? Shit. 
comprehension. You have to understand each other. There ain't no point in like talking to each other if you don't understand each other. Fears and rejections. Everything's falling into place for you. Oh shit. You might be scared to like fall off that ledge, but in reality there's another ledge beneath that nobody, not even you, can see. And you'll probably be safe in the end, right? It's just a fear. You definitely want to come back together with this person because you don't know- I, I just can't quit you, you know? Like, you have a lot of love for this person, you know? Uh, and like, maybe they treat you a little bit like a pet, sure, but honestly, I don't think they want to go anywhere with anybody else because... They don't want to go with a bunch of church people? What? Like, they don't want to move. They aren't going anywhere else. But someone's here preaching. Administering rules and shit. I think you both have a lot to learn about each other before you can move together. That's how this world's starting to come out. That's how it's panning out anyway. Yeah, and, and yeah, you're gonna have to try to be calm. Don't crack anyone's head open. Just listen, you know? Analyze. Like, you're pretty intuitive, Pisces. You know what you're doing. Uh, you might have to recover some of your energy. Because, yeah, this shit is definitely not ending anytime soon. It's not going to get buried with the Ten of Swords. You know, you guys actually, like, you're not sure how you all are going to battle it out either. You know. I think you're absolutely, like, you're afraid that it's going to happen, but you are blind to how it'll pop up, though. But, that's the end of your video, Pisces. I hope this helps. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. If you don't want to, it's up to you. No biggie. I ain't tripping. But, I love your faces, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.